We know a more active nation is one with better physical and mental health, which would lead to a stronger economy, more connected communities, and other good stuff. Sadly, the people with the most to gain from being active have had the least opportunity to take part, and that was before a pandemic which made long-standing inequalities even worse. So, uniting the movement is our long-term strategy to transform communities and give everyone a chance to live active lives. The number of people who take part in sport or physical activity varies with different ethnic groups. We know, for example, that uh, black and Asian people are less likely to be physically active than white people. And that's why we're working with organisations embedded in communities who know what they need at a local level. And one of those groups is Trapped in Zone 1. Using our Together Fund, they've helped women living, working and studying in Tower Hamlets, London, to get active. We formed Trapped in Zone 1 as an initiative to bring community together. So for example, a lot of exercise classes happen in gyms and leisure centres that don't necessarily have covers for women who, for example, if you have a hijabi lady, she may not want to be seen by other members of the public. Um, so we absolutely adored that idea um, and we asked him to come to our space. And yeah, that's where it started. <laughs> I always enjoy workout sessions and when I saw all the women coming together, even the odd ages, people who haven't done a workout for a long time, they were motivated to come forward and try it out. আমি এজন্য মনে করি যে স্বাস্থ্যকে ফিট রাখার জন্য এখানে এক্সারসাইজ করা মহিলাদের জন্য খুবই জরুরি People with a disability or long term health condition are also less likely to be active and that's not fair so together with our partners we intend to do something about it a case in point is green bank power hockey hub on merseyside which with sport england funding gives disabled people an opportunity to play a fast contact sport. I started playing hockey when I was eight, so I've loved it ever since. Before I came to power hockey, I didn't even really think of doing any sport or any any exercise or anything, but it's, it's just normal for me now, so. Sport England's involvement in, in power hockey has been massive. We wouldn't be where we were today without them, and without them we wouldn't have done it, so that they are massive. It's improved my confidence by being part of a team. You have to communicate in the game. You have to talk to people. You have to be loud. You have to, you have to get involved. There needs to be more teams, more, more chairs, more players. So the funding really helps with that. So. We know that women are less likely to be physically active than men for lots of different reasons. Fear of judgment, a lack of confidence, or simply not having enough time. We're determined to eradicate the activity gender gap, which is why, alongside our This Girl Can campaign, we've invested in hundreds of organisations like Projects MCR in Manchester. I did do quite a lot of sport growing up. When I was 10, there was a boy in my class that fancied me and got me a skateboard for Valentine's Day. And I was like, Mum, I want to learn how to skateboard. I picked it up during lockdown and I think I'd been thinking about coming to girls night here on a Thursday for a while um, but I felt a little bit like oh I'm not good enough to like come to the girls night because I can't do this or that. When I started getting coached I was like oh I can do so much more than I thought I could because actually I didn't know what the next step was but someone's just pointed it out for me. Now when there's a change or, or something new in my life, I'm like, well, I learned how to skateboard so I can do anything. <laughs> Age is also a major factor that determines how likely we are to be physically active. Sadly, there's nearly half a million fewer active young people than there were before the pandemic. Guardian Ballers in Coventry has empowered young people to reach their potential through basketball. I feel like for me, um, basketball acts as a distraction in life. While the well-being side of Guardian Ball is, it helps people understand their emotions and it helps bring peace on and off the court, whether it's 
on the court, between others and outside the court in the real world. I feel like Guardian Ballers has impacted me so much, which I'm grateful for because I've met so many people that I'm friends with today and without them, I would have not been in the place where I am today, which has had a great impact on me and I will never forget that. If I was to speak to a person like me, I'd probably say, surround yourself with the right people, people that would encourage you and motivate you to do your best. Ones that will teach resilience because those are the people that impacted my life and it probably do the same for you. I feel like I've accomplished something in life. Just doing something I love, it makes a difference and it just makes me feel happy. Like, I can't stop smiling, so. These four projects are just some examples of the thousands of clubs and organisations all over England who are making a difference. By listening to groups who are facing the greatest challenges and working with our partners, we can break down the barriers and tackle the inequalities that stop people from taking part and being active. Instead of telling them what to do, we're asking them what they need. By doing that, we're uniting the movement.